Hey everyone, Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having an amazing day. So in today's video, we're taking a look at Registar. With Registar, we can completely customize our settings, double tap and triple taps from behind the device to do custom actions, view our settings change history, fine tune our side key button, and a whole lot more. Let's go ahead and get started with how you get Registar installed. The first thing you wanna do is head out to the Samsung Galaxy Store and search for Samsung Goodlock. Go ahead and get that installed. Once you have Goodlock installed, go ahead and fire it up. And then on the Life Up tab, you're gonna find Registar. Go ahead and download that and install it, and then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and open it up. So here's what Registar looks like when you first open it up. First, we have these three ellipses here that just shows us about Registar, so nothing really going on there. But up top, you'll see our first option is Customize Your Settings Home. This is really awesome. Let's go ahead and tap on that. And within here, we have a couple options. The first allows us to make adjustments to the settings panel, while the second one makes an adjustment to how our display name shows up. So let's go ahead and tap on this first option. And you'll see here we have all of our settings available to us listed out with the ability to select and deselect and also the ability to move them around. So I'm going to go ahead and customize this real quick to my liking since it's my phone. And that's the beauty of GoodLock is customizing these devices to match up with what we actually need. So I'm gonna make it how I like it and I'll show you what I'm working with. So what I've done is I've moved advanced features all the way to the top. I deselected a bunch of the settings that I don't really care to see. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like. We'll go ahead and save our changes. I'm gonna go ahead and swipe down to go into settings. Advanced features right up top. Look at my nice clean settings panel here. So you can completely customize which items show up in your settings and the order in which they show up. And do keep in mind, if you want to switch these back to the defaults, it's really easy. You just go right back into Registar, and you're going to want to turn this back off, and it'll revert everything back to default. So this is a great way to play around with the order of your settings. Now for this second option, I don't really notice this doing much. It allows us to change our display name that shows up in settings from name to nickname. I don't actually notice this doing any difference, so maybe this will work in the future, or maybe it works on some devices and not others. We're using the S23 Ultra here. I should have mentioned too at the start of the video, this stuff is compatible with more devices than just the S23 Ultra. This should work with most Galaxy devices, but GoodLock's not available everywhere. So if you don't see GoodLock in the Samsung Galaxy Store, I'll link a video to show you how to sideload it onto your device. All right, let's go ahead and check out the rest of Registar. All right, this next option is awesome. This is settings change history. So from the time that you enable Registar, you're gonna have all your setting adjustments logged. All right, so let's see this in action real quick. So if I swipe down and go into settings and I go to connections and I go ahead and turn off Wi-Fi, and then I'll go ahead and turn it back on. All right, then we're gonna go back to Registar. Boom, you see there, my Wi-Fi event has been added to the event history. And if I tap on this, it shows that I turned my Wi-Fi off and then back on again. So you have a complete history of all the settings adjustments that you do. And this could be really clutch if you happen to go into your settings and you make an adjustment and it kind of screws things up for you a little bit. Hop into Registar, take a look at what the value was before and what you set it to, and it gives you a nice quick way to revert back in your settings. Super helpful. The next option we have is search options. Let's go ahead and tap on that. So what this relates to is when you go into your settings here, right? We go in there and we do a search like this for any one of our settings, right? So that's what this page is talking about. So let's go back to Registar real quick. So the first option, it's talking about the display policy. So we'll go ahead and tap on that. We have menu order and accuracy. So by default, it's gonna be in menu order. And what that means is when you go back to settings and you go to search for something, it's gonna show you the results as they would appear in your settings menu order. Now, if we switch this over to accuracy, what that's gonna do when we go back to the display settings, right? We'll go back here, I'll go ahead and do this, display. It's gonna base the search results on relevancy and not necessarily where they are in the search order. This next option is awesome. Allow creation of a shortcut. Let's go ahead and turn this on real quick. All right, again, we're gonna go back into our settings and I'm gonna search for a setting real quick. So I search for display. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these search results, I'm gonna press and hold it. Boom, it gives me the option now to add a shortcut to that search result right to my home screen. So if there's some type of search setting that I like to adjust on a routine basis, I can now add a quick shortcut to it to our home screen. Super awesome. The last option here is hide tag suggestions. So by default, when you're doing a search, a screen we were just on, it'll also show tagged items in the result set. 
So you can go ahead and omit that by disabling that here. All right, next up in Registar is back tap action. This is super awesome. Let's go ahead and tap on it. So what this lets you do, once you enable it, and we'll go ahead and enable the toast notification so you can see what this does here, is we can set up a custom action for a double tap on the back of our S23 Ultra or your other Samsung Galaxy device, and also triple taps. Really cool functionality. Let's go ahead and see this in action real quick. So I'm gonna set up a double tap action, and I'm gonna have it show notifications, all right? And remember, we turned on the toast notifications, so we should see a little pop-up when this gets enabled. Let's go ahead and try this out real quick. So I'm gonna lift up the S23. I'm gonna give it a little double tap. There we go, double tap. You see the toast notification that was there? And here's our notifications. So if you don't want that little toast notification to show up on the bottom, you can go ahead and disable that right here. But we can do the same actions for triple tap. And then we have this gates. So when we tap on gates, what this is saying is, hey, go ahead and keep this double tap and triple tap functionality on unless I come across one of these two events. One of them being that the device has been put into power saving mode, and the other one is that we're on low battery. So you can kind of fine tune when you want these double tap and triple tap actions to take place. In addition to that, we can also adjust the sensitivity of the back of our device. I have a case on here, so I have my sensitivity cranked way up, but if you're running your device caseless, you might wanna go ahead and tune this down a little bit. All right, our last action for Registar is side key press and hold action. So this is really sweet. We'll go ahead and tap on this. So this is really cool. This allows us to pick what action we want to happen when we press and hold the side key instead of just the default of turning Bixby on or switching it over to our power on off menu. In addition to that, we can also pick a custom app. And when we do, we're able to fine tune the actions of some of these apps. Take for example, the camera application. If we hit the little settings cogwheel here, it gives us which action we want to pick when we press and hold that side key instead of just firing up the camera by itself. So you can really fine tune what action takes place. Let's see this in action real quick. So I'm gonna have my side key press turn on the flashlight. Let's go ahead and enable that. All right, I'll minimize it. So I'm gonna press and hold the side key right here and we'll see the flashlight. Bam, there it goes. Press and hold it again to turn it off. All right, there you go. This is Samsung's Registar, part of the Samsung Goodlock family, available for free on the Samsung Galaxy Store. If you have any questions or comments about today's video, please drop them down in the comments section below. I really do appreciate your time, and as always, thanks for watching.